Hey guys, Wrestling Rebels 89 back once again today with another reaction video. This time I'm reacting to Stan Cold talking about whether he would ever consider having one more run in WWE like Goldberg had. Of course, Austin wrestled at WrestleMania against Kevin Owens, so it's not like he is never going to come back, but I'm curious to hear what the man himself has to say, so without wasting any more time, let's get started. Ted out says, would you ever consider making a similar comeback to what Goldberg did? Wrestle a few matches, make a run of the belt one more time. Yeah. Nah, dude. I love what Goldberg did. I love that he came back. And, it was cool at the start. Yeah, that first year run that he had in WWF, WWE, it wasn't that great. I don't I know if, like if his heart or his head was in it at the time. He was there, but I don't know, you know, what was going on with him. But uh on his comeback, that shot, that WrestleMania shot, match with Brock Lesnar, what a payoff. I mean, what a what a great match. What a way to that you know get surprise. back into business and show your son Gage and share with his wonderful wife Wanda, you know, for cool him to be front and center in a big time spot in the number one promotion in the world. And Bill is a very good friend of mine. Uh, so I absolutely loved it, and I really loved it because I got a chance to see him, you know, redefine his relationship with the WWE, and he just went into the Hall of Fame a month or two ago, and so he's come full circle. Cool. And that guy started off as a guy who was a football player, yeah. got banged up, ends up in the business of pro wrestling, transition there. pays his dues down there in WCW, turns into Goldberg, and just got white hot, and he was just the biggest thing that was going in that promotion and in the world, yeah, along Austin with myself, Goldberg, Stone Cold. Yeah. What a parallel. You know, two different companies, two guys on top with a very similar look. Yeah. Uh, he wasn't trying to copy me. I wasn't trying to copy him. We were doing two different things. People always uh, thought they were Similar in, in appearance, but Goldberg, uh, the gimmick or character, was different than the Stone Cold character. Very different. And to see him come up to New York, and then to finish up his run or his career like he did. And who knows what he's going to do next. I thought he kind of hinted at maybe possibly uh, entertaining the thought of doing something in his Hall of Fame speech. Uh, and we'll see what happens there. But I think, you know, I think he was a class act this last go-round. And I enjoyed what he did. But to answer your question, no, nah, I'm not really interested in that. I'm interested in Goldberg doing it. I'll see if he's going to come back. But as far as myself... Man, I'm, I'm I'm far enough down the road that I don't turn around to look back anymore. I've told the best. people on this podcast plenty of times, man, it took me a long time to get the business out of my system. About three years. And I told <laughs> I, I drank, I fish, I drank, <laughs> I fished, and I hunted. And I did a lot of stupid shit, but I got the business out of my system. I still love it. Love Same. it. Uh, like I told you, man, when I came back uh, from that Raw 25, I was so jacked up from adrenaline that was just off the charts. But, man, you uh, the commitment I've there to, to – well, and that's the thing. Goldberg had to commit to it, uh, and, and he had great reason to. He wanted to wrestle for his son and for his wife. If I was going to go back, I wouldn't go back and do it for my wife. I mean, she's not even a wrestling fan. And, uh, you know uh, – her Callie and Mula, uh, they don't need to see me wrestle. <laughs> I left, I'm gonna leave well enough alone. I left the mark that I did on the business, and I'm happy Great with choice. the mark that I left on the business. And quite frankly, I always say, man, it's the kids' times now, and it's their time in the ring, and yeah. I like to watch them. And Stone Cold had a good run, could last a little bit longer, but great philosophy there at the end from Austin, as I said. That Austin had that match with Kevin Owens. I honestly didn't want him to have the match, but I was very pleasantly surprised. Kevin Owens did a fantastic job of making Austin look good. And I think that one off WrestleMania was all Austin really needed. Even then, I think he probably just came back as a favorite of Vince. But he can still say it was never going to be as good as the match with The Rock, but that was still a very good match, all things considered. And he definitely doesn't need to be coming back and getting world championship runs. Austin is my favorite wrestler of all time. But I don't want to see him risking getting injured or like have to be covered up really big in every single match just to not make himself look bad. Kevin Owens did a great job. and I'm sure there are plenty of other wrestlers who could. But as Austin said, it's time for the new guys to shine now. He doesn't need to be coming back and taking the spotlight off them.
And it's just really refreshing to hear an older wrestler finally just come out and say, like, I had my time. It's time for the young guys now. And not just sell out all their principles and beliefs for money, which I'm sure Austin could get multiple millions of dollars if he wanted another run. So, yeah. Big respect to Austin. Great, great story with Goldberg that he did in comparison to himself. So I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and click the notifications bell if you haven't already. This is Investing Rambles 89. Signing off.